Today, I have some fun barbecue tiered tray ideas for you. I'm honored to be co-hosting First Friday today along with Lisa from Our Gray House and Sarah from Jujube DIY. Project I'll have one is a cup of fries. In the description box below, so I'm using this model magic that we and are I'm going to pinch off a piece and I'm going to add some paint to it to make it kind of the color of french fries. And then I'm just going to knead that together until it's totally colored. Once it's completely combined, I'm going to shape it into the shape of a potato. And then I'm going to use a knife and I'm going to simply cut french fry shapes out of it. Once I get them cut out, I am just going to kind of work with them and shape them as I go. Once I have them all shaped, I go ahead and add them to one of these small red Solo cups from Dollar Tree, as well as some of this picnic tissue paper from Dollar Tree. Project number two is some sweet iced tea. I'm mixing some brown paint in with this clear silicone to try and get an iced tea look. I decided just to paint it on the inside of this small mason jar from Dollar Tree. It probably would have been better to paint the entire thing, but it turns out okay. Now that the silicone is dry, I'm going to add in some filler in there so that I can add in a straw and a lemon. I'm also using some of this black and white and red and white baker's twine to tie around the top. Project number three is a menu board. For this project, I'll be using one of these palettes from Dollar Tree. I'm going to stain it with some antique wax mixed with water and then just wipe it back. I debated on how I wanted this menu board to look, but I opted for a felt tip pen and my own handwriting. I did start with the letter in the middle so that it would be somewhat centered. And I used the phrase burgers, fries, cherry pies, simply because that came to mind from a Charlie Pride country song many years ago. Let me know if you remember that song. I did go back later and add sweet tea to the bottom of this. If you're from the South, then you totally get the sweet tea. I added one of these denim pocket stickers to the top. These are from my scrapbooking days. Project number four is a temperature sign. Now I used these animals in a previous project, so I'm going to paint over the EI, EI, and Moo, and we're going to add on the temperature that each of these meats should be cooked. I'm using this white paint pen from Dollar Tree and I'm adding the temperature to which each of these animals should be cooked. Mm -hmm. 
Once those are dry, I'm going to glue on some blocks to the back of the cow so that this will stand up. Now I'm going to be gluing each of the animals on top of each other. I also added in that red bandana from that sticker pack that I used previously. Project number five is a mini cutting board. I got this mini cutting board from Target Dollar Spot for $1 and I'm just removing that sticker and then I'm going to give the back of it a couple of coats of Waverly White chalk paint. Once the cutting board is dry, I'm going to be using some of that picnic tissue paper and I'm going to cut out a piece that will fit the cutting board. I'm going to be using Mod Podge, but I'm going to do the iron-on method, so I'm just going to smear that Mod Podge all over the cutting board and let it dry. And then I'll apply the tissue paper and iron over the top of it. Once it is adhered and cooled, I'm going to trim away the excess and then I'm going to use my finger sander to sand away the edges so that we get a nice clean finished look. I found a little hamburger on these rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree, so I'm going to apply that to the bottom of the cutting board, and then I'm going to use one of these chalkboard stickers at the top. I did have to cut the chalkboard sticker down just a little bit to make it fit. And then I used a paint pen and wrote grill and chill. Project number six is a pig sign. I got this from Dollar Tree and I decided to use the back of it and apply this saying, I like pig butts. So I'm going to use my sewing tracing paper so that it will trace on in white and then I'm going to copy over it with a white paint pen. I do believe this is my favorite DIY in this video. Let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments. And don't forget to check out the playlist linked in the description box below along with all of our hosts. And again, I wanna thank Lisa for inviting me to co-host today. And here's a look at my barbecue tiered tray.
Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button as well as that thumbs up button. You can also find me on Instagram at The Chic Show DIY. Bye now.